Hello everyone and welcome to another Yorkies Bits and Bobs Home Tech. Today we're going to change the Epson ET7700 maintenance box and this works on some of the other printers that they have in that range. Uh, but before we start I thought I'd better explain to you what a maintenance box is. This is it here. Well this is the new one actually. And what it does it captures all your excess ink so when you do like your head cleaning anything like that because you know you've got a blocked head or something and you uh, click on head cleaning all the excess ink will go into here now I've had this for about a year and a half and uh, it's a very good printer don't get me wrong but it needs to have a, a new uh, cleaner they're not expensive you can get them for around £10 or less so and I'll stick some links in the uh, description in case you decide to want to buy one I've never changed one before, but I've read up on it. It looks quite easy to do, but I've not seen any videos on anyone doing it. And I thought, oh, I could do a video here. So that's what I'm going to do. But before we do it, do that, how do you know when to change it? And there's two ways, and I'll show you the first one. So the first way of finding out that you need to change it is if you look on the printer itself, you've got a little icon up top there. Yeah. So if you click on uh, the right, so we go along to the right, function settings maintenance click on main, maintenance and scroll down click on maintenance box service life click ok and it's come up maintenance box service life and it's a TO4D0 so that tells me that that needs changing or it's about to run out so we're going to change it today and I'll show you the other sec the other way of doing it put that back to the home right and the second way of finding out is if you go down to the bottom right hand corner this is on Windows and this is Windows 10 and you click on your right click on your printer down there and go to where it says your model number which is up here ET7700 click on that and it says up here maintenance box is nearing the end of its service life so that tells me it's due to be changed so I'm going to change it rather sooner rather than later and there's a little icon down there for the same thing and it tells you obviously your inks as well which is always handy and I've got another spare set of inks anyway to put in there if I need to. So close that down. So that's how you know when to change your maintenance box. It will come up and give you a message at some stage. Whether you're printing something out at some time or to see the little icon. Or if you just do re uh, regular checks on your computer, it will tell you it's due to be changed. Like I said, this will be a first for me as well. I've never changed one of these. And uh, looking at it, it looks quite easy. So... Uh, this is the maintenance box. A couple of things to bear in mind. I've had a quick look, by the way. This actually came with the printer when I first bought it. So I've had it, what, uh, about one and a half years now. So it's had a good juice out of it. I've had to clean it a few times, but not too often. I've had a quick read of this, and this is just uh, safety. It's nothing to tell you how to do it. It tells you not to touch the chip on there. See that? Do not touch the chip because you may make it faulty because uh, your hands could be greasy and that. And looking at it, all you've got to do is a little cover on the back, you unscrew it, take the other one out and push this one in. So that's what we're going to do. So I'll turn the printer around. First of all, we've got to turn it off, of course. So I'll turn it off, unplug it from the mains, like so. Swing it round. Right, so this is the back of the printer, the bit we don't see often, and it should be in here. This little bit here, little cover here. So just a little flat head screw holding it in place. So we're going to undo that. And there it is. So before I pull that out, I will get the new one ready because what you need to do is put the, the old one into the bag to seal it. So it should just pull out. Put that to one side and then the new one. And remembering not to touch the chip, that bit on the side, it should just push in. Last famous words, have I got it upside down? I don't know. I have. <laughs> so it should just push in that way. 
Oh right, so the Epson, look out for the Epson, where it says Epson, make sure it's the right way up. The chip's on the right hand side, push that in, that's better. And that's in. See, push that little flap down. Do that back up. Right, so the new one's in, here's the old one. Make sure it's sealed up because it could leak, it probably won't leak, but we don't want to take no chances. That would be uh, going into the recycle. And all we've got to do now is plug the power back in. Which is there. So turn her on. Oops, turn her on. And I broke it. There you go. And we've got to see what happens, because I don't know, because I've never done this before. I'll give it a couple of seconds to uh, sort itself out. And uh, it looks fine. Well, we're going to go through the maintenance and just double check. What's it saying? Maintenance, maintenance box service life. And yeah, okay. And that's it. So that was quite easy. Go back to the home page. I'm going to check on the computer as well. So again, go down to the bottom right hand corner. Right click on your printer. ET7700, which is my model. And there it's showing it ready for use. Maintenance box service life. It's saying it's full. Or it's empty basically. It's not saying it needs any maintenance. It does it fully automatic. It's all ready to go and job done. So that's it. So I just wanted to show everyone how easy it is to change the maintenance box on their printers. And it should work on generally um, any printers. It might be in a different position on other printers, not sure because you know, unless I've got loads of printers here, I can't check. Uh, but that's how it works on the Epson ET7700 series and there's a couple of different versions of this and they're all on the back and uh, I'll uh, stick a link in there in case you decide you want to buy one of these printers and also I will stick a link in there in case you want to buy a maintenance box like this in case you haven't got a spare one like I say it does come when you first buy this it does come with a spare maintenance box like I just showed you and also two sets of inks and I'm still using the first set of inks I haven't started using the second set yet. So it's at, at a very good life. They said it, the ink normally lasts two to three years and it's definitely uh, lasting. I've had it, I bought January last year, 2018. It's now uh, April, 2019. So it's lasted pretty well. I'm very pleased with the printer. It, <coughs> it does excellent photos and I was very pleased how easy that was to set up. So uh, with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. And uh, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.